Gary Baca right here with none other than ODM, one dope Mexican. And man, we go back years. If you checked out the Latin Active video with Gary Baca, the, the, the Light the of Shade viral, of Brown, Gary. the viral video uh, that went 11 million on Facebook, Woo! 17 million on Instagram, half a million on YouTube. Uh, you know, it was a great performance on television. And, you know, 30 years later, it was damn near here we are. Yes. Still looking good. Oh, brother, <laughs> we try. We try to keep it like fine like wine. But you know what's funny about that video is the only one that, got, that went viral, really viral, was the dancer. Because that's all they kept talking about. The guy kept his dance. All the comments kept talking about. Shout out to my dude, John, man. Like, he really, he, he went, for, you know, we, we had two dancers. That's the story. We had two dancers. But we could only afford to bring one. <laughs> so that, there you go. You know, because we were struggling back then, man. Well, the question is, where is John now? You know, every now and then I, I'll hear from him on Facebook. He'll tag tag me, whatever. But uh, he, I, I remember at the time he was working at Stater Brothers, and he went on the road with us. And then I think he quit that job. I saw him at a couple clubs, but this is back in the. And but every now and then he'll. I, I don't know. I guess he's doing good, man. I mean, you know, I just I just scroll through my Facebook. So, I mean, you know, what up, John? I know you watch it. Big question is. Teardrop. We uh, most of the questions are also for Teardrop, and yeah. they watch the video for Teardrop. Yeah. Uh, where is Teardrop? Teardrop is in her happy place. She's doing her own thing, and I get hit up just like you do. Where is she at? How come she ain't on the road? How come she ain't doing music? The truth is, Teardrop just decided to do her own thing. She outside of the music. She wanted nothing to do with it. At least that's what I got. I still talk to her daughter. You know, so, um, you know, I'm always inviting her to come on the road and, and she, she's just like, all right, I'll tell my mom, but teardrop, man, you're one of a kind and, and some, maybe it's meant to be that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. One Latina female that just, man, she's that the video, original, <laughs> the original on West Coast. That's right. And if you ever do a reunion, like having teardrop and John, you got to have me to introduce you so I could go. Brown and oh, proud, you kick it, yes. <laughs> bro. You know what I mean, come on, man, Gary Barker, dude. If you, if you don't know about this cat, like you probably do, because you're following him here now. But I'm telling you, man, from the Grace to Asla Nation, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to my folks in the Bay Area, man. And this dude was the first that took a chance on Chicanos, Latinos doing hip hop. He didn't have to, but he was doing it for his people. So that means a lot to us, and we thank you for that, man. And look, as a result, like you're bringing our culture, our old video, you know, our old shows to, to, to life right now again, man, because that one video, which is crazy, and we were so green. We were so, like, we didn't know. That was, like, literally our first time on television, and we were, you could just tell, man. So, but it was good, man. You know, that, there's where we were, and now we're here. So. We were brown and proud. Uh, tell me about that story about how... Uh, you guys were in LA and then they told you you were coming up to the Bay Area. Uh, was it a long drive? Do you remember that coming up to the studio and doing that video? I mean, I, I just remember that our manager at the time was like, yo, we're about to hit the road and you guys be prepared. Uh, I think I was already out of high school and they were like, look, man, we're just going to be gone for a couple of weeks. We're going to go up to the Bay Area, do some press, do some radio, whatnot, hit a couple places. Yours was uh, was included, obviously, but I was like, yeah, man, let's do it, you know, and I wasn't used to the drive. That was the first time I ever been out of Southern California, and I was like, whoa, we're like, oh, dude, this is like Oakland, this is San Francisco, this is, this is the shit, and as a youngster, to see that, it was amazing, man, but it was even more amazing to be on, on, on your show, bro, and, you know, just promote our music, so yeah, I, I got to see a lot of things as a youngster. Well, before we let you go, man, we got to ask you about D-double-T-X. Of course, you know, we lost him and my man right here. Yes, sir. D-double-T-X. And, <laughs> you know, it's hard for a band to carry on after a member has been lost. But, you know, I've seen you guys a few times. And I got to say, man, the love I have for Light of Shade of Brown is the music, the lyrics, the content, the songs. Uh, you're there and you, you got a great, uh, you, you know, Shiro is there. and. The band, the DJ, I mean, I still love Light of Shade of Brown, but I know it's got to be hard, man, and you got to think about Bobby every time you do a show, right? Absolutely, man, because it's the fans, the fans that are there to remind me every every day, day in, day out, from social media to in person at the shows. And, you know, like they say, the music's got to, the music lives on, and, and his music will carry on forever and a day. That's one thing you can never take away and you know is it's it's our music man it's that's why it's considered timeless it's not old school we're timeless you know what i'm saying like my kids 
are going to be bumping my music and they're going to show it to their kids and so on and so forth just like our parents showed us music you know from the 60s and 50s you know so um he's missed definitely and when we tour we feel the vibes and like i say if you ever come to a lighter shade concert you, you're going to feel that presence regardless because it's inevitable like we still play his verses you know what i mean and and, and it's amazing to see all the crowd like rap his lyrics back has it been 30 so, years, man? Yeah. It was. It's been 30, 30 years since this we did that show. 30th anniversary. And they were looking this, this young. Brown and proud. Look at <laughs> they were looking just ODM. like that when I interviewed him. And, and we had the same suspenders on. <laughs> that's they right. The same that's <laughs> and uh, ODM, man, before you go, man, you're one of, one of the greatest Latino Chicano rappers that have ever graced this earth. Can you give us a couple rhymes, man, and one of your greatest songs, man? Get the party started, man. man. Get a little something, well, something. Come on, man. Blast. That's the G spot. You man, on the spot. what the G spot? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, give Check. a little time, ODM. Yo, yo, man, I don't need no time. When I spit these rhymes, ODM, I'm one of a kind, homie. You better press rewind. That's why I said rewind and not even a scroll. Because when your body lose control, understand I'm on a roll. Gary Baca, homie, fine like wine or vodka. You know me. LSOB, that's right. I'm your number one homie. 30 years. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to flex from IE to the Bay Area. Rest in peace, DWTX. Brown and proud right here. Jeez, Gary Baca. <laughs> All right. Give it up for a lighter shade of brown ODM. <laughs>